much of Asia and among Asians around the world, celebration of the Lunar New Year is now underway. The year of the ox officially arrived on Friday. And in a normal year, hundreds of millions of Chinese citizens take to trains, planes, and roadways to reunite with family members. But this year, of course, because of the pandemic, many have chosen between traditional gatherings and more modern ways of getting together. Ramy Innocencio reports now from Beijing. Sun Jiayi knows the government is urging people to stay home this Chinese New Year. She boarded a high-speed train anyways. With her boyfriend, they shot 700 miles south to Jiangsu province on the east coast to her waiting father and smiling mother. Keeping to tradition that families reunite and feast during China's biggest holiday of the year. They did have concerns about COVID. If I'm back, well, my family has a risk of being affected. I was a little worried, but then Beijing was doing better with the outbreak, said her mom. People should try their best to come home. Many people did. Travelers buying tickets this week as a worker sprayed bleach disinfectant, but many did not. Before COVID, Chinese New Year was known as the world's biggest annual migration. Hundreds of millions on the move. This is Beijing's central railway station on Chinese New Year's Eve. Normally, there should be thousands of people rushing to get home, but restrictions now put in place, some of them very harsh, include 14 days of mandatory quarantine once you get home, and that's keeping so many people away. New data show the plunge. 74% fewer trips taken than in 2019, the year before COVID hit. Air and train travel down 80%. Road trips down about a third. Like Chen Yuanyuan Yuan is one of those millions staying put. At one of Beijing's biggest flower markets, she's prepping to be alone for spring festival, as Lunar New Year is known here. Living at her family's four-bedroom home, her parents have been away in their hometown since last April, 500 miles south in Henan province. So how do you feel? Well, I of course feel really lonely and kind of sad, but Chinese has a um, term that chang. That means the future is long and we will have more time. For people who are traveling, do you have any concern they might be spreading the coronavirus if they have it? It's pretty big risk, but it's their decision. They have the right to go back or stay, like no judgment here. I ask her dad and mom if they're sad she's not coming back. Her mom laughs and says, no, it's okay. The most important thing is to be safe Bye. as the new year Bye. of the ox begins. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Remy Innocencio, Beijing. People born in the year of the ox are strong, reliable, fair, and conscientious, inspiring confidence in others. They're also calm, patient, methodical, and can be trusted. Uh, they can <laughs> say little, they say little, but can be very opinionated. Ooh, that sounds like Dana. Oh, really? Dana and all that positivity? Sure, why not? I'll take okay. it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sure. You and There's me are out here the ox. I think I'm. <laughs> I think I'm actually the year of the rat, if I remember. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know what year I, I am. There's some good stuff in all of them. Oh, well, good to know, Jeff. Yeah, there you go. A little research. <laughs>